let's look at something really important. Sleeping. First, choose your bed. Aisha narrates that the pillow of the Prophet on which he slept at night was made of leather stuffed with palm fibres. Abu Dawood and Musnad Ahmad Sahih al Jami 4714. Go to bed early. Abu Barza al Aslami said that the Prophet used to prefer to delay Isha and he did not like to sleep before it or talk after it. Sahih al Bukhari. Clean your bed. Abu Huraira reported the Prophet said, When any one of you goes to bed, let him clear his bed by hitting it with his garment, for he does not know what may have come onto it. Then let him lie down on his right side. Sahih al Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. Pray. Recite the last verses of Surah al Bakhara. Recite Surah al Falak and Surah al Nas and Surah Ikhlas. Blow in the palms and wipe as much of the body as possible, starting from the head, face, and then the front of the body, doing it three times. Sahih al Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. Purify. Ben Abbas reported that Allah's Messenger said, Purify these bodies and Allah will purify you. For there is no slave who goes to sleep in a state of purity, but an angel spends the night with him. And every time he turns over, the angel says, O oh Allah, forgive your slave, for he went to bed in a state of purity. Reported by at Tabarani, C. Sahih Al Jami, three eight three one. Don't point your feet in the direction of the Qibla. Sheikh Abd Allah ibn Humaid was asked about pointing one's feet in the direction of the Qibla. He replied, "There is nothing to say that this is not allowed, but some of the scholars regarded it as makru, disliked." to stretch the feet out towards the Kaaba, if one is close to it. They regarded this as makru, but not emphatically so. But if there is a mosque somewhere else, and there is a Muslim there who points his feet towards the Qibla, there is no harm in that, and he is not doing anything forbidden, as the scholars stated. Don't sleep on your belly. The reason for this is that it was forbidden by the Prophet, who left no good thing but he told us about it, and left no evil thing but he warned us against it. Yaish ibn Tifa al-Gifari reported that his father said, I stayed as a guest with the Messenger of Allah and with those of the poor whom he hosted. The Messenger of Allah came out in the night to check up on his guests and saw me lying on my stomach. He prodded me with his foot and said, Do not lie in this manner, for it is a way of lying that Allah hates. According to another report, the Prophet prodded him with his foot and woke him up and said, Do not lie like this, for this is how the people of hell lie. Reported by Ahmad al-Faf al-Rabani, 12-244, Dash two four five by Al Tirmidhi, number two seven nine eight, Shakir Eden, and by Abu Dawood Al Sunan Kitab Al Adab, number five zero four zero, Al Da As Eden. Also reported in Sahih Al Jami, two two seven zero to two two seven one. Lie on your right side, narrated from al bara ibn Azib. The Prophet said, when you go to bed, do wudu, as if for prayer, then lie down on your right side, narrated by al bukhari al-Wudu 239. Thanks for watching this video. 
If you would like to discuss this with me, you'll find me on Facebook in the Religion Discussion Group. See you there.